our core and country. So I said I started here three and a half years ago. That ceremony was nothing like this. We were on the tail end of COVID. Uh, there was no Sergeant Major, so I didn't do a relief and appointment. I think we were up on the command deck. It was actually in a trailer. Sergeant Major Var Vargas walked over and he said, hey brother, uh, we're gonna do like this impromptu appointment ceremony so we can make this thing official. So it was me, Sergeant Major Vargas, and uh, Colonel Stinnett. And he handed the sword over and he said, you got it. And it has been 100 miles an hour ever since. Tiffany will uh, probably fill you in on all that. It's been very busy three and a half years. But I tell you, I can't think of a place that I would rather have been doing it. We were getting ready to leave Hawaii back in 2021, early 21. And the division sergeant major at the time was Sergeant Major Dan Krause. And I called Dan up and I said, I don't know if you can help me, but if you can, I'm phoning a friend because I would really like to finish out my career in an artillery battalion. Because this is where I started. I grew up as a as an 0811, not on this weapon system. Started on a 105, transitioned to a 9 or 8. Uh, and it, it has been phenomenal. Like being a part of the king of battle, I can't put that into words. And you won't know it either unless you've been a part of it. Another group of people I want to thank because certainly any of the success that is attributed to my office of the Sergeant Major would not occur without these fine first sergeants that you see standing in front of these formations. These gentlemen are top notch. I have never served alongside first sergeants of the caliber that these guys are. And there's a few of prior first sergeants from 110 sitting in the audience today. I have been immensely proud of what they accomplish on a daily basis. They have stepped in when I'm not available. Many of them stepped in when we went away to Operation Allies Welcome up in Quantico, because myself, the CO, our, we called him our OPSO, Lieutenant Colonel Wells. He was like our OPSO, XO. He had like five hats, and I don't know how the man did it, but he kept us sane and he crushed it. Lieutenant Colonel Wells, thank you so much for our time that we spent together up in Quantico. I learned a great deal from you, sir. I only hope that I imparted a fraction of what you shared with me over the course of that five months. I mentioned Colonel Stinnett, Colonel Susi, and Lieutenant Colonel Bess. Having the privilege to serve alongside three phenomenal leaders of Marines commanders, top notch. I, I don't know where I fit into that. I'm like, they're a 10, I'm probably a five and a half. Um, but they made me better every day. Those gentlemen made me want to come to work and serve a little harder, do things a little better and make this battalion truly what it is today. And I appreciate you gentlemen for the opportunity to lead, but more importantly, the trust that they put in me. So those three gentlemen gave me the trust of the most valuable asset we have in the Marine Corps, the Marines and sailors. There is, no more, there is nothing more valuable than them. We can replace a seven ton, we can replace a howitzer, we can replace a rifle, a machine gun, I can't replace them. They are truly what we do this for, what we serve for, for these guys and girls behind me. Sergeant Major Lerma, Sandra, I welcome you to this tribe that we call first in the world. I, I will be looking from afar, but I can't wait to see what you take this battalion to and the things that you accomplish in the future. I am so extremely proud that this battalion is getting someone of your caliber to, to fill this position.
And that brings us to last, but certainly not least, my wife. I could not have accomplished anything. I'll save a lot of the stuff for my retirement ceremony, so I'm gonna stick just to, to 110 days. I could not accomplish a fraction of what I have been able to in this battalion, or quite frankly, in life, without my partner, my best friend. This lady is the strongest, most courageous person I have ever met. I've seen a lot of tough Marines. I, I considered myself a pretty tough Marine. We don't measure up to that. This lady is like superwoman. She is awesome. Because all those hours and all those days that I'm away doing my thing, she's at home taking care of the house, taking care of our beautiful daughters, Emma and Ozzy. You, you can't put a price tag on that. You cannot even put that into words. Tiffany, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sacrificing all you do to give me the opportunity to either be here early, to do the things. I could tell you many conversations of like, what, you gotta go in at what time? It's a Sunday, it's a Saturday. You're gonna be gone how long? And she does it with a smile on her face. She can be a pain in my butt, <laughs> but that keeps me straight. I love you. Thank you so much for all that you do, not only for me and our family, but I know you always have these Marines and their families in your heart and in the back of your mind, and you're always there to take care of them too in the times of need. So thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Sergeant Major Lerma, I'm going to hand it off to you, brother. Ah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, commanders, senior enlisted leaders, and more importantly, family and friends. Hey, thank you all so much for being here. You know, as a new Sergeant Major, it's not about me. It's about the outgoing Sergeant Major, the artillery legend, uh, Sergeant Major P.J. Anderson. So I'll be brief with my comments. Uh, General Worth, Colonel Eichels, uh, gentlemen, first off, thank you for being here. And thank you for allowing me to be the Battalion Sergeant Major of 110. I'm super excited to be here with the Follow Me Division, part of the 10th Marine Regiment, the king of the battlefield. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to work, gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the opportunity. Sergeant Major Lobo, uh, I saw you back, you're back there Some There you are, sir. Uh, hey, brother, I'm excited to work underneath you. I look forward to the guidance, the mentorship, uh, and just making this regiment better for you and Colonel Eichels, and I'm super excited to be here, and thank you for allowing me to be in the seat today. Thank you. Uh, to my brothers back there that were constantly supporting me, Sergeant Major Byron Morris, brother, I missed you. Can't wait for our coffee treats. Freaking uh, Sergeant Major Blue, Sergeant Major LeBlanc, Man, it's great to see where we are today in the Marine Corps, uh, running around crazy on the deep while young little staff sergeants, sergeants. It's great to see us where we are today. Uh, first Sergeant Rusty Bolt, uh, my little brother uh, uh, Enrique Uribe, thanks for being here. Special shout out to my brother, uh, Master Sergeant Jose Mireles and his wife, uh, Griselda Mireles. These, uh, this couple right here has been phenomenal on our, we transitioned to Okinawa and now on our way back from Okinawa. Hey, the Mireles family, me and the girls love you very much. Uh, we are beyond thankful, uh, and I look forward to our constant weekend get-togethers, barbecues, rides. Hey, brother, thank you so much for being here. Uh, now, excuse me one second while I address the Marines. And I always get honored with great call signs, too. Shh. Nightmare! It truly is an honor, and I'm hum humbled to be here as your battalion sergeant major. I'm excited to get to meet each and every single Marine and sailor in this battalion. I got one mission for myself. It's for, before my time ends here with 110, it's for each and every Marine and Senator to be able to say, that's the Sergeant Major that I want to go to combat with. I know I have some big, heavy shoes to fill, but I totally intend to attain my mission. I will see each and every one of you. I'll be around, Nightmare, except for Fidelis. Lastly, of course, I have to thank my, my beautiful family, my daughters, uh, Annalise, Annabelle. I know PCS season, baby girl Annabelle, always seems to fall on your birthday, always seems to fall on Mother's Day. I don't know if that's a blessing, I don't have to get gifts, but hey, I managed to do what I do. 
But hey, thank you, thank you for your patience. Thank you for always considering uh, the things that I got to do uh, for the Marine Corps. And I thank you so much because <laughs> you, you guys still allow me to accomplish my mission, live my dreams and accomplish my goals. So I love you girls very much. You guys want to Camp Lejeune, I want a division. So I know we're all happy. So thank you girls. And to my amazing, beautiful wife, who is the heartbeat, the backbone, you name it, she is the one, the lady, the woman that drives this family. Without her constant support, her guidance, her mentorship, uh, I would not be here today. Babe, I love you more than anything. I know I come home and sometimes I come and I vent to you and somehow it turns around to an ass chewing for me because I'm doing something wrong and you, you guide me in the right way. Um, I am beyond thankful uh, to have you, you know, retired gunner sergeant, so it does kind of help out. Uh, but there is no words I have to say how grateful I am to have you as my partner. I love you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Today is the day we say goodbye to this legend, uh, Sergeant Major uh, PJ Anderson. Brother, uh, I know our transition has been kind of hectic. Uh, coming from Okinawa, you know, you're, you're doing, going to do uh, bigger, bigger and better things. But I am comfortable and I feel confident with the, the product that you have left me. These first arms right now seem phenomenal, just exactly like you say. And I know they're going to freaking help me. And we're going to take this battalion to the next level. And uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bess, I know my, I said my wife was, was last and I apologize. Uh, sir, I'm your battle buddy now. I'm your battle buddy now. Hey, let's, let's, let's run this thing. Let's see where we can take this battalion. I totally intend to take it to the next level, sir. Uh, I'm your right-hand man. I'm proud to be here. To Mrs. Best, I, uh, I look forward to our family interactions, uh, our family get-togethers, our dinners, whatever, you name it. But we're, we're uh, happy to be here. Sir, right now we're just Lieutenant Colonel, CO, Sergeant Major. Uh, but before your time ends here, I think I got you for about a year. Uh, my goal for you, for myself, is for you not to just consider me your battalion sergeant major, but for you to consider me a brother, sir. But I'm super excited to be here. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for being here again. Semper Fi. In lieu of flip. In lieu of flowers for Mrs. Anderson and Mrs. Lerma, donations will be made to the Cancer Research Institute and the AFV Foundation. Flowers be, will be presented to daughters Emma and Ozzie Anderson and Annabelle and Annalise Lerma. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retiring of the colors. Retire the colors! Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, in order to honor our Marines and sailors, both past and present, that have served in the 2nd Marine Division, we ask all active duty and veteran members of the division to remain standing and be recognized during the playing of the 2nd Marine Division song, Follow Me. We ask all others be seated at this time. This song has honored the hearts of all members of the 2nd Marine Division has its roots in the bloody struggle for the Tarawa Atoll in 1943. It is in remembering this battle that the Marines and sailors standing before you today are reminded of both their service and comrades who made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation's freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, after the playing of the 2nd Marine Division song, Follow Me, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and singing the Marines' hymn. Unfortunately, folks, 
our sound system in true fashion has taken a dump. So we'll be skipping all the songs and we're gonna roll right into the, uh, the conclusion of the ceremony. We apologize for that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, 1st Battalion, 10th Marine, Lieutenant Colonel Ronald E. Best, Jr., welcome to the Relief and Appointment Ceremony. Today's ceremony is being executed by the Marines and Sailors of 1st Battalion, 10th Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Battalion Chaplain, Lieutenant Tillotson, United States Navy. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you today with thanks and praise. Thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your grace and mercies which you lavish upon us because of your great love you have for us, your creation. Bless us with your holy presence as we gather here to witness this time-honored relief and appointment ceremony. God, you are an of a God of order and leadership. You have crafted these two men to be leaders in your very image. I ask that just as you have journeyed with Sergeant Major Anderson throughout his time here, both in times of difficulty and prosperity, that you would continue to guide and encourage Sergeant Major Lerma as he takes the sword of 1st Battalion, 10th Marines. May he continue the march of leadership by providing sound wisdom, divine excellence, and a model for all who look to him as an exemplary Marine. Watch over the sailors and Marines of 1st Battalion. Help them to operate with unity, professionalism, and dignity. May they always provide precise, timely, and overwhelming fire upon their nation's enemies. Protect them as they prepare to answer the call to defend democracy and the freedoms of this great country and her allies. In your most holy name I pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the march on of the colors and remain standing for the national anthem.
All present or accounted for. Battery A, all present or accounted for. Battery C, all present or accounted for. Battery D, all present or accounted for. Now taking his position in the reviewing area is Lieutenant Colonel Ronald D. Best Jr., Commanding Officer, 1st Battalion, Seth Murray. Sergeant Major, front and center, march! Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the non-commissioned officer sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The Sergeant Major as the enlisted senior leader and advisor is the keeper of traditions in their unit. Today's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies transfer of this sacred trust from one Sergeant Major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps. Two, Sergeant Major Phil J. Anderson. Please Subject. be seated. Thank you. You're good. Please be seated. From Commandant of the Marine Corps, two, Sergeant Major Phil J. Anderson. Subject, relief of appointment. Effective 0900, 16th of May, 2024, you stand relieved as a Battalion Sergeant Major, 1st Battalion, 10th Marines. Signed, General Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major Anderson reporting as the old Sergeant Major. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Jaime Lerma. Subject, appointment as Sergeant Major. Effective 0900, 16th of May, 2024, you are appointed as the Battalion Sergeant Major, 1st Battalion, 10th Marines. Signed, General Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major Lerma appointed the new Sergeant Major. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer, 1st Battalion, 10th Marines, Lieutenant Colonel Ronald E. Best, Jr. Major General Worth, Colonel Hallett, Colonel Eichels, Sergeants Major, Command Master Chiefs, Master Gunnery Sergeants, Distinguished Guests, Marines, Sailors, Civilians, Fellow Commanders, Families, and Friends, welcome to the 10th Marines LZ, welcome to N Street, your home of East Coast Base Ground Fire Support, and thank you so much for coming. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank uh, First Sergeant Oliva, Commander of Troops, and, and all these fine Marines and sailors out here. Uh, you look fantastic. Thank you so much for your professionalism and putting this together today. Our storied battalion was established on 1 November 1940, but our records of the Battalion Sergeant Major only date back to July 1980. From Sergeant Major John Green in July 1980 to Sergeant Major PJ Anderson, uh, we've had the honor and have been blessed with 32 Sergeants Major, and I'm so honored to welcome our 33rd today. I can say with true confidence that from all of those gentlemen, they have provided exactly what our battalion has needed. The wisdom, the guidance, and the calm that truly brings this formation together. Sergeant Major Anderson has embodied all those things and so much more. He's seen this battalion through a lot. He's served alongside three battalion commanders, mentored the first sergeants and senior enlisted leaders of seven batteries, and taught, educated, and led well over a thousand Marines and sailors over the course of 12 unit deployments. If you've ever walked through our spaces or you've ever talked to any of these Marines and sailors, you would immediately recognize Sergeant Major Anderson's impact and imprint. In August of 2021, with very little notice, 
Sergeant Major Anderson deployed with a portion of the battalion up to Quantico, Virginia to establish a security force capability that provided uh, services for well over 4,300 Afghan evacuees uh, in support of Operations Allied Refuge. When 2nd Marine Division was tasked to establish the East Coast First High Mobility Artillery Rocket System or HIMARS battery, Sergeant Major Anderson was there to oversee the implementation of that table of organization. He's been the key advocate for 36 meritorious promotions and over 260 reenlistments. That's the kind of man that Sergeant Major Anderson is, and that's what he's provided to this battalion as a true servant leader and somehow doing it with a smile on his face each and every day. It's been an absolute honor to serve alongside you over the last year. To Tiffany, Emma, and Ozzy, you all are incredible. I can't thank you enough for everything that you've given to this battalion over the last three and a half years. And, and it's been my true honor to work alongside you. It, you may not know this, uh, but about 18 months ago, almost 18 months ago, there was a Marine in our battalion that was getting ready to welcome uh, his new kids into the world, twins, as a single dad. Tiffany gave up her time personally to help mobilize the battalion, to help mobilize the local community, to raise thousands of dollars worth of supplies and furniture to help him get on his feet. She gave up her time to help him set up an apartment so he could welcome his children into the world the way that he wanted to. That's the type of person that Tiffany is, and I thank you so much for everything that you've given to us. It's been our blessing. From Syl and I, you welcomed us into this battalion with open arms, and it's meant so much to us. Thank you to you both for leading by example and really showing us how this thing is done. To Sergeant Major Lerma, you stand on the shoulders of giants, as we all do. It's truly an honor to have you here. Your reputation precedes you, and I can already see from the passion and thoughtfulness that you bring uh, to this role that we're gonna continue to excel, continue to be first in the world, and I thank you for that. To Sandra, Annabelle, Annalise, and I know Anissa's not here, uh, but welcome to our family. It's so wonderful to meet you. Uh, we got a chance to talk a little bit this morning uh, from Syl and I and our three girls. We're so excited to get to know you. Uh, and, and excited to go on this journey together. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the former Battalion Sergeant Major of 1st Battalion, 10th Marines, Sergeant Major P.J. Anderson. He's a tough act to follow. That's usually why he lets me go first at battalion formation when we talk. Uh, as one would imagine, I got a ton of things running through my head uh, on a day like today, so I did what any uh, smart person would do, and I wrote a few things down. But I have number four here. I just want to show my wife this, so I wrote <laughs> that on my fourth card. I'm not going to forget her. <laughs> General Worth, Colonel Hallett, Colonel Eichels, Lieutenant Colonel Bess. Uh, Colonel Susie and Colonel Sinet could not be here today, uh, but the CO mentioned uh, three folks that I had the opportunity to serve as their Sergeant Major in this battalion, uh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention those gentlemen. And then, of course, this little one, she keeps me straight. But uh, gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming. Senior leaders, uh, fellow Sergeants Major, First Sergeants, Master Guns, Master Sergeants, thank you all. You could have been anywhere on a Thursday morning. You chose to be here. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here to support not only myself, but Sergeant Major Lerma as he takes on the role of Sergeant Major for this fine battalion. These Marines that are standing back here, I tell you what, I get choked up every time I look at them because it has been an absolute honor and privilege to have served alongside each and every one of them. They continue to crush any mission that you throw at them. It doesn't matter how difficult, it doesn't matter where we're sending them to, which kind of ties into what we're supposed to do, right? Any climb in place. These guys can do it. 
These guys and girls have accomplished so much over the last three and a half years that I've been a part of this battalion. I am so, so extremely grateful to have served alongside them. Marine, I am very proud of you. I tell you that every formation. I want to thank you. It has been one of the most honorable things I have done in my career to serve alongside you and this great battalion. Thank you so much for what you do for this nation, for this battalion, for our core and country. So I said I started here three and a half years ago. 